Hi, this is Perry with the Hampton Network, uh, back with another video. So today we're going to be uh, writing a blog. I have another tool I want to introduce you guys to. It's absolutely fabulous and it's called SurgeGrift. And I'll leave a, a link in the description for you if you want to take a look at this. It's a very affordable solution, um, you know, for ensuring that you can rank high in the search engine result pages on your favorite search engine. And uh, the only one I focus on is Google. But this tool is an AI tool that actually allows you to create long form blogs in a matter of minutes and it's actually very easy to use. So what I want to do is let me just go over here. I've already logged in. Like I said, I'll leave a description in the, um, uh, I mean I'll leave a link in the description of this video. But all you really have to do once you've chosen your keyword, let's just uh, say for example we choose personal finance. Just say that for example, and this is just a demo, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on keyword research and, and all that. But let's just say you want to write a blog, blog quickly uh, and you actually know what you're doing, you already know what keywords you want to use. You just go ahead and type in whatever the keyword is, you type it right here. Also, if you have a second one, it's optional, and you can also include a third keyword, which is also optional. So, once you've entered your keyword, you go ahead and hit create document, you actually click on create document. So it's going to go ahead and uh, analyze all the competitors' content throughout the, the search and on the um, search engines, and it'll probably take a minute or so. So let me pause the video, and I'll be right back. I'm back. Uh, that took about maybe a minute or a minute and a half. So as you can see, uh, it shows it's done here. The uh, personal finance 2023. So let's go ahead and click on this. As you can see here, it's actually selected uh, an outline for you. Okay, if you want to add topics, you can go ahead and add a topic here. We'll just close that. But that's all you have to do is to just add topics if you want to add any more. And from this point, you just click on continue. Okay, now it's asking for a target content length that actually defaults to 2,500 to 3,500 words. We'll just go ahead and just select 1,525. You should go to default, but just for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to choose this amount here. Okay, so this is what it's going to be writing for. It's going to be creating the talking points. It's going to do some questions for us and also include all of the contextual terms. So we'll go and click on generate. And it says estimated waiting time of 60 seconds. I'll go ahead and pause the video. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That took actually less than 20 seconds. <laughs> so we want to go ahead. Uh, it's already generate the outline. As you can see, uh, the introduction here, you can also see the outline on this side in the editor. So you actually see everything is going to be, if you want to add anything else, you can do that here. And I suggest you do, but for the demo, I just want to show you how easy it is to go ahead and get started with the blog. So now we'll just go ahead and click on start writing. We'll go ahead and do that and see how long this takes. I'm going to go ahead and kind of talk you through a few things that just go on. It has uh, eight tasks that is completed. It's also completed one already. So this should only take maybe 30 seconds or so. But this is, uh, you can just scroll down here to see everything that it's going to do for us. Okay, it's got the tone here. We'll leave it at the default. The creative is normal. And you want to keep it at the 7th and 8th grade level. Or perhaps 8th and ninth grade level, but I'll look at this. So you can see it's just, just with the search graph alone, it's written a blog that's already a well-optimized blog. Uh, and you can see it's in the green here, 71. So it's a, actually a great job. So now, as you can see... Here's everything that it's written over here. So just remember, for a good blog, you should have, you know, and it's, and it's telling you over here, let's just look at this real quick. It's recommending, you know, 2,496, where actually the average is uh, 1,379. 29 headings, and this one, uh, you know, it has 11. Paragraph, paragraph 79, this one has 33. So if you just go right down here, you can, all, it already created all of your list is bolded some things which you should have as part of a blog. Uh, you should also have a lot of H2s and H3s. You should definitely have FAQs because people are obviously asking questions about this. I would probably create a conclusion here as well, but this is just a demo. We already 71, um, a score of 71. You can see the topic coverage is already at 100%. So what I would do in this blog is I would go through, I have Grammarly connected and I have Grammarly Premium. I'll go ahead and leave a link uh, to that in the description as well. You definitely need grammar. If you're anything like me, you need it to correct your grammar and also, uh, you know, any uh, misspellings that you may have. So all you have to do it from this point, just go through this, make sure you use Grammarly and just correct everything here. 
and I'll show you a couple of other things here real quick and what I'll do is I'll have a I'll, I'll create some more videos and we'll go in depth into this too because it's a lot that's a lot to cover uh, in just one video and I don't want to have a you know a very long video so what we'll do I'll just show you some of the items over here uh, you can click on the topic and it'll also show you many other topics that you can use so if you for example if you want to add another topic here you can just hit enter right here and let's say we'll just select this and just hit wherever your cursor is here and you click on the plus that's where it's going to put it as h2 okay and then you can also just go ahead and have the ai write for you after that so okay that's the topics uh questions if you want to add in any more questions we'll go down here to the questions let's say you want to have more than uh four faqs you can just go ahead and um, do the same thing select over here and just click on the plus and it'll automatically add those questions over now links let's say you want to add a link let me just collapse this so what you can do let's just say for example i don't know you want to add a link here to financial opportunities you can just simply highlight that and just go to whichever link you want to link it to and just hit the plus and it's going to automatically and i'll show you in just a second see it's automatically included that link right there for you so that's another great tool a great feature rather so now all of these contextual terms the ones that you don't see added you can actually have it add this in you can actually create another paragraph here and have it to include some contextual terms and it will actually do that for you once again i want to keep this video short because i'm going to do another one uh, in depth so we can go further into it so after this once you happen once you you know obviously went through this article with gremlin made sure you have everything you wanted you've checked it for accuracy then all you'll need to do is just go over here to publish and at this point you can actually export it directly into your blog which is what i would do but you can also export it in html format uh docx which is a word document format or you can actually download it as a pdf if you'd like so really that's just a quick overview of search grep i highly recommend this tool for folks who may be advanced but i definitely recommend it for beginners who you know you may have written a couple of blogs on your own and you know how long that can take this is actually the perfect tool uh, for that situation because it can write thousands and thousands of, of, of long form articles and blogs that will rank you know uh, actually on the search engines as long as you actually take the time and go through just after it you can let the ai write it but you'll need to go back and, and do your quality checks and ensure that you know you have all your contextual terms including your blog and that the blog is readable and also once you actually went through grammarly you know to actually correct any you know grammatical errors or any misspellings that you know that may be in the document but i'll go ahead and stop there and i'll actually do another uh it's probably take another three or four videos because i want to keep this short but i will do another video because this tool actually has keyword research it has the works everything that you need uh, for search engine optimization and blogs is all included in this tool so once again i'll leave a link in the description uh, please uh, check out this tool if you think that you can use it i know you know i absolutely love it uh, and it actually creates some great blogs you don't have to do much formatting at all because it actually does all of the formatting for you only thing you need to do is just make sure you just go back and, and do your quality checks like i said earlier and just make sure that you use grammarly grammarly is a must for me in my business i don't know how i could get along without grammarly so i would highly recommend you know getting grammarly as well so uh, if you like the video uh, or if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below if you'd like to, you know, see any other things or any other kind of tips on Surge Grep. Like I said, I will be doing more videos on this tool. So I want to thank you uh, for watching. If you watch this video to the end, then please ensure to like, subscribe, and share if you like the video. And just share it with your friends. Okay, take care.